Hi everyone, Dollistic here, back with another tier video, and today we are doing the, again, the offshoot lines of Rainbow High, which are going to be Junior High and Pacific Coast. Since Pacific Coast is discontinued, I figured it'd be okay to just add them to this little list, and Junior High should be adding more soon. I'm very excited. We're supposed to be getting, I think we're supposed to be getting the Devious Twins, and Lily, and Kaya, and like someone else. Very exciting. So I've already renamed the tiers, and here they are. In top tier, we have valedictorians. In A tier, we have A students. I couldn't really think of a better one. <laughs> uh, in B tier, we have struggling. In C tier, sand in pants. <laughs> and in bottom tier, drowning. I'm going to be honest, there may not be any dolls in drowning because I don't think anyone here is too terrible, but we'll see as we go. All right, so starting off with Junior High Ruby, sand and pants. This girl is an ankle biter. She she will bite your ankles <laughs> and then call you a bitch <laughs> while she's doing it. <laughs> and maybe a slur. I don't know. I, <laughs> I actually don't hate Junior High Ruby as a base. I think she's cute. I don't hate her hair, but I, I'm not a fan of the scrunchie. I'm not a fan of the Supreme logoing that she has. Um, if it was different, I'd probably like her a lot more. She's just, she's gonna go down here. Junior high poppy. Oh my goodness. Um, ooh, I want to put her into, uh, yeah, she's going in top tier. I just got this doll and I am so happy with her. She's so gorgeous. The monarch butterfly bell sleeves, all the ribbons that she has, the daisy boots, the monarch butterfly hair bows. She is a top tier junior high doll. I love her. She's so pretty. And I hope we get more Poppy dolls in the future. I know we're all tired of Series 1 being redone. Honestly, at this point, we've had three to five dolls of each one. Can you believe that? Some of these girls from Series 1 have five dolls. Violet has five dolls. The worst Series 1 doll <laughs> got five. Like, that's that's wild. I just, I want Poppy to shine a little bit more. I just love the Monarch butterfly motif with the orange that they've chosen for her clothes and her hair. It's just, uh, she looks like an orange creamsicle butterfly. I love it. All right, Junior High Sunny. She's going in at A students. Her beautiful, like, crimped wavy hair, this fun vinyl jacket, the outfit. She looks adorable. This hair, I don't, it's, she's beautiful. I love her. I wish I had her because I think this is probably one of the best Sunnies. I think this is actually the second best Sunny. Like, I think Cheer is probably the best one, and then right below it is Junior High Ch Sunny. Junior High Jade, um, she's going in struggling. I was actually the most excited about Junior High Jade, similar to Winter Break. Like, I was very excited to see one of the characters I disliked the most, getting a new doll and seeing what they do with her, seeing if I like her, and I do like her. She is, she was the only Junior High doll I had for a long time, but something about it has just, like, I don't know, she's worn off on me, you know? Like, the beauty has kind of worn off a little bit for her. Or not the beauty. The the novelty or I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm really glad she's the first doll to have like short hair. I think that's great. I think we need more short hair Rainbow High dolls because the long hair is wonderful, of course. But like not every girl on earth or every femme presenting person on earth has long hair. So, you know, it'd be nice to have some variety. I think we're about to get some with Shadow High, like the runway girls excited for that. Junior High, Skylar, sand in her pants as well. I, she's not exciting. She's just kind of boring. Again, I'm a Skylar hater. <laughs> I am a Skylar hater. I, I've never been a big fan of hers, so she's just gonna go and sand in her pants. Even though she's cute, like, she is a cute base, and I think it's probably some of the better hair that Skylar has had. Um, yeah, she's gonna go there. Junior High Violet. Oh my goodness. She is going in valedictorian. That is Britney Spears in Hit Me Baby One More Time if she were purple and I cannot get over it. She's gorgeous. Wonderful. Gorgeous. Love it. Do I think an actual middle schooler would be wearing this? God, no. No. No one would let their middle schooler go to school looking like this, but she's so cute. <laughs> Junior High Bella. She is going in A student surprising. I'm sure if you watch my other tier videos that have Bella in them, she's going an A student. I just, I feel like something more could have been done for her. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I love her. I absolutely love her. But so, I don't know. Something about her is just 
just off enough for me to be like, hmm, what else could we have done here? You know, maybe given her like, I don't know, maybe given her a jacket similar to her original doll or some more interesting hair. I'm not sure. I don't know. I really like her. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Stella. Unfortunately, I do have to put Stella in struggling. This sequence dress is so bad. It's so bad. Everything about else about her is great. I love her backpack. I love her shoes, her socks, her hair. The little tiara she has is so adorable. And Stella always looks good. But there is such a missed opportunity here to give her her fur coat. Like, you don't even have to give a full fur coat, obviously. But maybe just like a little bolero, like a fur bolero would have been wonderful. Or a stole or something. Like, she's a princess. Let's let's make her a little more opulent. She kind of just looks weird, you know? Just like a fuchsia fur stole, maybe even a muff. I don't know. Something could have been done here, you know? To be honest, it feels like half of series two of Junior High was just like, oh, we're going to throw this together. And the half of them were like, ooh, we're really going to go all out for this. Like Crystal, Karma, and Amaya, it definitely feels like they put a lot of work into them. But then River, Stella, and Bella, it kind of feels like they were just like, hmm, here you go. Anyway, on to Karma. A student. I think she's gorgeous. Um, Again, I wish we had had a little more interesting hair texture. You know, I don't know what could have been done. But she's beautiful. Although I think the clothing on her is made out of like terry cloth, if I remember some of the reviews correctly. So that's a little weird for like a middle schooler to just be going to school in like terry cloth shorts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like Karma. She's a sleeper hit of series two, honestly. Like her original release, not this one. She's not a sleeper hit anymore. She was when she came out. Okay, junior high, river, struggling. I think he suffers from the same thing that Stella does. Like, the pants are great. The shoes are great. The backpack, the beanie, the ear pods, like, great. The only thing is this shirt. I'm not sure what this shirt is. I'm just not a big fan. He he looks too baggy. And also, why does the child have abs? I don't think we needed that, you know? I don't think we needed the child to have abs. But I'm sure they just shrunk down the original boy sculpt to make him. So it kind of makes sense. Okay, Crystal, valedictorian. I've always thought that her particular colored hair, like the deeper purple that she has going on, would have looked so much better as like natural curled, coiled texture. And they have proven that to be completely true with this crystal. These little Afro puffs of the coils, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. I love the coat. I love the skirt. I love the backpack. I love her face. Always her face. Beautiful. My only problem is these shoes, but I can look past them. I just don't like that they're so baggy on her legs. But yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, Amaya. A student. Really enjoy this Amaya. I think she's probably one of the better ones. I like the backpack, the face, the hair, the top, the skirt. The only problem is these shoes. I'm honestly surprised that even as fabric, that these shoes don't particularly work. I think they're still a little too chunky, you know? All right, so that's all of Junior High. Let's do Pacific Coast. Simone. Simone is an A student. So gorgeous. She's the last Rainbow High doll that I got. Or not Rainbow High. (laughs) She's the last Pacific Coast doll that I got. I'm super happy with her. Yeah. I wish I could say she was top tier, but... I don't know. I think if her eyes had not been blue, I would like her a little bit more if they had been maybe brown or maybe even a color to match her hair. I'm not sure. But yeah, love her. But mine has, you know, a giant dark spot on her chin. So it kind of brings her down a little bit for me, but it's fine. Pacific Coast Bella struggling. Again, they just could have done better here. If they had simply changed the bathing suit, she would be top tier, truly, because I'm a Bella lover. It's just this bathing suit is so weird. I don't know. But I love the hat. I love her face. Her hair is like a warmer tone, and I'm sure that wasn't on purpose. But, you know, it makes her look like she was in the sun for a while, so looks good. Finn, valedictorian. I love this doll. I raved about him when he came out. Like, I think I posted on my Instagram story, like, get this doll. Get this doll right now because he is the best doll. (laughs) He is the best boy doll we've had. 
But then, of course, Ash came along and Ash beats them both to the ground. (laughs) And when the Onyx boy comes out, he's going to body the rest of them. My only problem with Finn, literally my only problem, is the surfboard not being able to stand on its own. It really, like, it would have been so easy for them to make those plastic, like, fins in the back of the board, like, go all the way to the ground so it could stand on its own. But yeah, my only issue with him is that Harper, while I think Harper is one of the prettiest base dolls that Pacific Coast has, I'm not a fan of the outfit. I'm not a big fan of the Burberry plaid thing, but, like, she looks like Beyonce. So, what am I supposed to say to that, you know? Hallie, for her beauty alone, she goes in sand and pants. If she wasn't so pretty, like, if Hallie herself was not so pretty, she would be in drowning. Because, like, what is this outfit? It is so ugly. (laughs) I mean, not ugly, but it is not good. (laughs) Why do they do such disservices to their blue dolls? Like, Skylar, River, like, what? Come on. We need, we need good blue representation. Gabriella isn't enough. (laughs) Phaedra. Oh my goodness. Phaedra, valedictorian. You cannot look at this doll and tell me she's not the prettiest bitch you've ever seen. Her hair is supposed to be like a sunset, but I think it looks kind of like a heat signature, which is honestly cooler to me. This really interesting one-piece suit that's like snakeskin, the cool towel, the vinyl bag that has the ombre effect. It, she She's such a bad bitch. I love her. I do wish she had textured hair again, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then finally, we have Margot. Margot is an A student. I love her. The only thing holding her back is the weird, like, hat. I don't know what it's called. The head wrap? That's holding her back. But that's pretty much it. Some people say, and the tinsel. The head wrap and the tinsel in her hair holds her back. If those weren't there, she'd be top tier. Period. Some people say she looks like Roger the Alien. I can definitely see it, but that makes me like her more because Roger is my favorite character from American Dad. So, you know. (laughs) And her shoes give me, like, Spectra from Monster High energy. Because she has pearls as heels. Like, giant pearls as heels. And they remind me of Spectra's, like, ball and chain shoes from, I don't remember which release. I know I have them. I just don't know which release they go to. But yeah, they definitely remind me of those. Give me Monster High energy. All right, so there it is. We have finished our tiers. Like I said, no one went in drowning because I don't think any of these dolls are bad enough to go down here. Like, even, even Junior High Ruby, who I think is the worst doll out of everyone on here, doesn't deserve to go down there because she's really not terrible, terrible. Like, she's not Lyric Lucas. <laughs> she, she's not Lyric. This is a Lyric hate channel, and I hope you are prepared for that. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my tiers here. Like, who do you think deserve to be in the top? Who do you think deserve to be lower? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be trying to put out a new video every single week. And it's going to be, you know, something doll or Care Bear or something related. Because I just film what's fun for me. (laughs) But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.